Okay, go for it. All right. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to my uh, post presentation on the development of a non invasive, uh, you know, for sexing technology for uh, fertilized chicken eggs. Every year, over 370 uh, million uh, little chicks are killed in European hatcheries during the production of uh, layer hens for egg production. Unfortunately, these chicks are unsuitable for the production of eggs, of course, and are unfit um, for the production of meat, as they are genetically uh, unable to uh, put on uh, meat quick enough. At the moment, there are various uh, innovative sexing technologies that are aiming to address this ethical issue. These technologies uh, require invasive sampling of uh, extra embryonic tissues and perform uh, PCR and ELISA testing to perform uh, hormonal assays. Unfortunately, while being highly uh, accurate, these techniques are invasive and therefore pose a risk to the uh, embryonic development and the health of the embryo. It's are only suitable uh, after the ninth day of uh, the incubation process. In 2024, the German uh, government is expected to introduce novel legislation that will actually outlaw the killing of chicken embryos after the seventh day of uh, the incubation process, inspired by these uh, anticipated changes. Various um, industrial and uh, research groups have moved to investigate uh, earlier and also non-invasive uh, in open sex and technologies. So for example, Raman and Flores spectroscopy have been used before to determine uh, the amount of red blood cells in extra embryonic uh, blood vessels. Machine vision has been used to uh, determine the geometry of blood vessels, for example, and hyperspectral imaging was uh, used to determine the composition of the eggshell of the fertilized, uh, of the fertilized egg. Well, some of these techniques are uh, rather accurate. Most do not um, facilitate sexing with accuracy beyond uh, 90%, or are unable to generalize to different layer strains, for example, as they are only trained or developed for either white or brown shell eggs. In my PC pro project, we are aiming to develop um, a method to perform in over sexing using multimodal sensing, using uh, hyperspectral imaging, as well as Roman spectroscopy, in combination with uh, deep learning to uh, come up with a non-invasive and highly accurate and as well early uh, yeah, in over sexing technology. Using Roman spectroscopy, we will determine the metabolic compounds that are actually being contained in the eggshell of the uh, fertilized egg. Well, Hyperspectral imaging in the visible and near infrared uh, region of the electromagnetic spectrum will uh, provide us with information about the geometry or the morphology of the uh, developing chicken embryo, in addition to also providing further uh, spectral information of the developing uh, embryo itself. As these sources will be complementary, they are expected to improve uh, uh, sex accuracy above what is currently known and what is currently reported in academic literature. In order to do this, we will train multimodal uh, deep learning networks to uh, consider both sources of information and uh, perform uh, the eventual uh, sexing procedure uh, in a more accurate and uh, expedited uh, fashion. Thanks.